So hi everybody, this is Tara, my artsy mind. Uh, oops, so glad to have you here. I am working on a second book that I gutted and I'm getting ready to turn into another journal. And this one is the, the size I want here, but it was too wide, even for, I think I've got four signatures going into this one, yeah. And uh, so I took the, the spine off but it's in still pretty decent shape. So I think I'm gonna turn it into a bookmark or a tag or a, I don't know, a flip out. We'll see, I haven't decided yet what I'm gonna do with it. But um, this one is a book, I still have the, um, let's see, yeah, I still have the title and the copyright page. So this is a manual of the study of insects and it is 1917. And it was actually published in Ithaca, New York, which is right where um, near where I'm from. So I thought that was pretty cool. And uh, I saved it from the, the uh, furnace. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to include this in the journal somewhere uh, for the new owner to, to have, because I thought that would be cool. And this one also has um, the uh, library card thing. It looks like there was an older one, so this is obviously a newer one, but even the dates on this are kind of fun. Um, 1967 on the... Um, the pages or on the, the dates that it was taken out so I thought that was pretty neat so I'll probably still have to take this off last time I had to heat it to get it off without destroying it so I'll probably do that off camera but I do kind of want to think about the cover and um, I have some digitals that I uh, printed from my porch prints and I also have some digitals from hmm. I know I have some from Victoria Designs, and honestly, I'm not sure. I actually think these labels are Shabby Dabby Doo Dah, but I'm not 100%. I'll have to look and see. But um, I really like um, this right here. And I'm going to cut it down a little because I want to make that part of the cover. I want to make it a little firmer as well. So I'm going to start working on the cover with you guys. So, let's start that process here. So what I'm gonna do, and oh, and my desk is a mess. I didn't even bother to clean it before I started. So bear with me. Let me move a little bit of this out of the way. Oh. Let's see, where's that? Da -da -da. There we go. And yes, yeah, so I wanna glue this down and then I wanna cut this. You guys see that okay? Yeah, all right. So I will use, because I will probably do some stitching as well, so I will use um, glue stick to put it down initially. So I hope everybody is having a good day. It has been hotter than heck here in New York State. And, um, oh man, sweating, sweating. So um, I did something fun today that <laughs> I would have never, never thought to do, but kind of always really wanted to play with is um, dancing. And uh, I guess he's kind of like a brother-in-law and uh, he lives over in Paris and he was visiting family this weekend and uh, uh, this week and he did a, um, he's a dancer and he did a free uh, workshop today that I participated in and oh my goodness, how much fun was that? That was a blast. Um, it's very beginner friendly, which was good because I really don't know much about interpretive dance or <laughs> contemporary dance. But um, he had a bunch of games uh, set up for us to participate in that all had to do with movement, you know. And it, oh man, I have to say, it was a blast. That's what I'm looking for. Get myself distracted here. Yeah, it was fun. A little something out of my comfort zone. But it was a joy. Good times. Let's see. Okay, so I don't know how these scissors will cut. I wanted to use my deckled scissors, but they haven't been working that great. They're loosening up awful fast and they don't really give you a, a screw to tighten it back down. So I'm a little, a little disappointed. But let's see what we can do. Hopefully it won't be a problem. I really wanted to have that look around the edge. Let's see, I'm gonna start here, and if I need to go shallower or smaller, I can do that. So let's... There we 
I really wish somebody would make a good pair of these, like heavy duty, that size. <laughs> oh, that'd be really nice. I don't know if there's like a patent on the design or what, if Fiskars owns it. But it would be nice to have a, a decent pair that weren't like kitty size. That wasn't quite very straight, was it? Yeah, well, I'll work it out. I will work it out. Come on. You want to you want to cut, you know you do. Ah, please don't do that to me. <laughs> Let's try it this way. I can always go in with my scissors and make that happen. I'm not too worried about that. can do here. Just kind of do a little zigzag cut. Yeah, that'll work. All right, let's get them out of the way. Let's see how that fits the cover first, because I think I might want it. I want it smaller. I mean, the cover's pretty plain, but I kind of like that dark green. Mm, that is kind of pretty. Hmm. I want to make it smaller. It might be difficult. Hmm. Question is, do I or don't I? Hmm. I'm just concerned if I go try to take off a, sh um, a shallower cut, it may or may not let me do that. Hmm. So I'm going to take off a little more off the bottom because I know I can get away with a bigger cut there. Okay. And then, ooh, maybe I'll save. Look at that. I save everything. Terrible. <laughs> so that works. And I think I might, I might take off just a little bit more off this side. So let's see what we can do. We won't, we won't lose the girl. Oh good, it's gonna cut. Excellent. <laughs> yep, that's pretty, I'm saving it, okay. Oh yeah, I do like that better. All right, cool, so let's ink that up. <laughs> and I do think I'm gonna um, put some fabric behind it, peeking out some lace or something. I think that would look nice. I still have to create a new spine for it. And I think I wanna cover that with lace. So I might, I don't know. I think, I think I'm gonna keep them two separate because I want it to be yeah, a torn look uh, all the way around, even with the, the lace or the fabric, depending on what I end up using. So for now, we'll just do this. We'll get those corners a little more burnished in there. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, that'll be pretty. So I also have this uh, label that I think I want to put on there, kind of as a book plate maybe, or well, leave it empty, leave it blank so that the new owner can write what she wants to in it. I'll probably put this on something a little firmer too, give it a more of an outline, but I kind of like I kind of like having that in there. Maybe down like that. Yeah, so I want to give that um, a border. Or, yeah, something like that. Where's the other P? There it is. So, I'm thinking. 
but I want this to be bigger than bigger than this. So if I put this on here, then I'm gonna cut the shape that I want. I think I'll use the deckled scissors again, but I want it to be much darker. So what we're gonna do is we are going to let me get a little piece of oops, paper here. I don't get it all over my mat. And we are gonna distress the heck out of this. Oops, sorry if I'm shaking the camera. That won't be for long. I just wanna make sure, let it go. Make sure that that fits in the space and have room to cut. There we go. All righty, excellent. All right, and so let's cover that so it doesn't dry out. Da, da, da. There we go. And yes, my desk is such a mess, but I was excited to get back into the studio. So I am. Um, I know most of my subscribers know that I lost my, my mom and my brother earlier this year. And uh, this week was their not only their birthdays, but we decided to have the memorials on their birthdays. So uh, one on the 20th and one on the 24th. And it was really nice. It was just, just perfect. And I got to see some family I haven't seen in forever. Um, my Uncle Johnny and his wife and his youngest son, my cousin, John, well, I always called him Johnny, but <laughs> I don't know if he likes being called Johnny anymore. But he came with his beautiful family. And um, he's got uh, five daughters. Four of them came up. And uh, just beautiful family. And uh, it was so nice to get to know them. And the girls, um, it's funny because it feels, I told them, I said, I don't feel like a cousin. I kind of feel more like an aunt. So we agreed that I would be auntie, <laughs> which I love. So I want to give a shout out and say hey to Gemma, who's the youngest, then Joanna, Johanna, and then there's Jessica and Anna, who came up, and then JC, I know I didn't get to meet you, but if you're watching, hello, and maybe someday I will get to meet you. Um, but I just want to say hi to the girls, because they started watching, started uh, following me, so I figured I'd give them a shout out. <laughs> so, all right, let's see, so I'm going to glue that down. I get distracted. All right. Let's see. Excellent. All right. Let's see what I can do with this. Let's see if this comes out the way I wanted. using them somewhere all right so now that that's cut out I can darken it up even more around the edge and then I'm gonna take it one step further just because I can and I've got that's black soot. I don't want that one. Oh, here we go. Uh, ground espresso. So I want the real dark one. Yeah. And that will give us a nice dark edge on that. I might even go around the whole image again, too, with this one. I like how it just gives it a little more dimension. Yeah, that's going to look nice. So let's see, there's that. And then we're gonna go around it with this. I 
Oh yeah, I can see already. It is darkening it right up. Oh yeah, I like that, definitely. Okay, cool. So that part is done. So I need to make some decisions. Let's see. On um, how thick I'm gonna make the book. Like I said, I do have four signatures and I do wanna put in an envelope or two or and um, maybe a small, um, a smaller little mini journal. So, yeah, I might have to trim. I might have to do a little more trimming. <laughs> That's all right. I think I need to do a little more cutting on that, too. That's all right. So, let's see. Oh, I don't want it to be real tight. But what is that about? Let's look down here. Oops. That's kind of nice. Let's see if I can tell from the edge of the mat. What is that? If I put that there, I could do maybe one and a half inch. One and a half inch spine, I think, would be great. Yeah. Yeah, because I have room to squish it. Yeah, because the original spine is uh, two and three quarters deep. So this one, I can do one and a half. I think that would be perfect. So I'm going to have to uh, let's move this aside. Yeah, I don't want to finish decorating it until I uh, create the new spine for it. So let's see. Let's do a little trimming here. A little trimming. I wonder if I should take it to the paper trimmer. Hmm. Most of this will get covered anyways. Okay, so I had to take a quick pause. So um, I decided to go ahead and use the heat gun to loosen this up and take this off. So that is taken care of now. So that's a little bit rough there. So let's go ahead and <laughs> using an embroidery or a, what is that called? Oh, file, nail file. Yeah, nail file. <laughs> And uh, I'm just going to loosen that up a little bit, get rid of some of the extra sanding block would be nice, but I don't happen to know where that is. I haven't been able to find it since I moved. That's all right. This will work. I just want to get rid of some of that loose stuff and make sure that when I put things back together that it all sticks well. So there we go. Excellent. All right, so there's that. All right, so now I um, should move some stuff out of the way. There's just too much stuff here. Um, the spine, we got to think about that spine. So I want about an inch and a half. Um, that's not as thick as I would like it. I would like to use, um, oh, you know, like the, the cardboard, a chipboard at the back of a, a notepad or something. Those are usually pretty thick. I'm pretty sure I have some floating around here. Um, if not, cardboard also works good. So I might end up having to <laughs> to do it. Pause you again. Give me a second, guys. Be right. Okay, so um, I couldn't find any of my loose stuff. So I've got an old watercolor pad here that's um, pretty much used up. I use it kind of just for scraps now. So I am going to take this off. There we go. Come on. There we go. Move that aside. Oh, let's, let's 
tuck you in there. Okay. So now we've got some nice thick chipboard, so I won't have to worry about that spine being weak or falling apart or collapsing on me. So we are going to measure it out and cut it. Let's see, I have, um, yeah, right here. And this pencil here will work. Cool. So I want an inch and a half spine. Well, dude, I don't even need to do that. I can just, where's my handy dandy little, uh-oh, what did I get for not putting stuff away? <laughs> I don't know where my knife is. Hmm. Hmm. It is not where it is supposed to be. Is it underneath all of you guys? Looking. Shouldn't be too far. Hmm. Oh my. Oh, you guys are going to have to bear with me today. I am scatterbrained. I found it. It was clear across the room. No idea why it was even over there, <laughs> but that's all right. So I got my metal uh, ruler and I know that I can uh, cut this um, right on this mat. So I can do an inch and a half. I'm going to move it over. I really need to move some of this stuff out of here. There we go. So I have some room to work with. So if I put this on that line, I know that an inch and a half, i put it this way, right there, right? That's one inch and a half. Right there, right there. So I got my glasses on so I can see. And you know, the nice thing is you don't have to be perfect with this. Um, it's gonna go nice and slow. That's one of the reasons I enjoy doing the junk journal process is because it's a junk journal. It doesn't have to be perfect. Some things you try to do a little more detailed than others, but for the most part, oops, oops. I, was <laughs> I keep unlocking it, hold on, yeah, for the most part, it's nice, because you don't have to, it doesn't have to be perfect, oops, and pay attention, Tara, there we go, excellent, retract, safety first, okay, so yeah, inch and a half, inch and a half, that works. Good, good, good. Okay. All right, so that is gonna go in between here from my spine. This, this one's a little crooked, a little uh, curvy, isn't it? That's all right, I can fix that. Um, and I do like to leave a little tiny space in between so that, you know, you have room for that, for that, uh, cover to come up. Oh, you know what? I just noticed. I didn't even double check to see if that was going to be the right height. Hmm. It is slightly shorter. You know what? That's Okay. It is, it's so small of a difference, I think it's fine. Um, but anyways, yeah, so I like a little space in there. Sometimes I'll use a spacer like when I go to put it together so that I get the same space between both sides. It sounds like my guy is uh, mowing the lawn. <laughs> Hopefully it won't be too loud. All right, so there's a few different ways we can go about doing this. Um, we can uh, go directly to fabric and I can just glue it all down or I can use uh, double-sided tape. I do have some big double-sided, I don't need double-sided tape. Oh, well, that would work too. I do have some big tape around here. Let's see. All right. Hello. Um, I had to take a little break, and I um I just came back uh, the next morning, so today's the next day. And then I thought I had hit the button to film. Let me double check that it's actually working. 
Is it working? Is it moving? Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> so I started putting the spine together without you. And I thought I had you guys with me. So my apologies. Um, I have made some decisions. I am um, using this double-sided tape to attach the spine to the journal. And then I have um, this fabric that I'm going to use on the outside cover. And I have this fabric that I'm going to use on the inside, the spine area. And so that's kind of where we're at right now. Um, I don't want to put the fabric on yet because I want the raw edge of the fabric to show. So these are some pages from the original book. This one has a date on it stamped uh, February 1936. So I was going to put that on this side and reattach the original um, library card to that eventually. And then this one just had a pretty picture of a clover with a bee on it. So I'm gonna use that on this side. So we are gonna attach those real quick. So I'm going to do some glue in here and move that tape out of the way because that is just not necessary. So I hope everybody's doing good today. I know at the beginning of the video, I asked probably the same question, um, but it's a new day for me. I couldn't sleep this morning, so I'm actually filming pretty early. Well, I've been up since, oh, 3, 3.30, and it is now oh, 5.30, so I've been up for a few hours working on my coffee and planning this video. Let's see. Let's do glue stick. Hmm. Yeah, glue stick will work. This, this Scott's Create Glue Stick works really well. I've never had any problems with it. So I'll just get my edges really good since I'm not going to be stitching um, on the actual book cover. So I'm gluing a little of this off camera just because I'm trying to make room. Just making sure I get it everywhere. Okay. Oh, you know what? Mm -hmm. Of course, I always have a last minute, don't I? I did want to ink this edge just a little bit. There we go. Kind of match the rest of it. All right, here we go. Down it, oop. Down it goes. There. And so that'll stick there. And you can still, yeah, there we go. That looks better. Okay, I'll play with that later. I'll play with that later. Okay. So I'll put that aside. And so that one's down. And then we're going to put this one down on this side. And I think I'll ink it afterwards as well, like I did the other one. Like I'm going to do the other one. I'm going to just get a clean glue sheet. I'll put that here this time. So I'll get this back side covered real good. So this one's a little bit more fragile because it's not one of the fly leaves like the other page, which tend to be a little thicker because they are meant to be protective pages. So I'm going to be real careful gluing this one, so hopefully I won't tear anything. It's already got a few tears in it, little ones, but I'm not too worried about that. Once it's glued down, it should be fine. Okay. Down it goes. There, there, there. I think we're good. Excellent. And burnish that down a little bit. Whoops. Well, like I said, there's nothing wrong. You can't do anything really wrong in junk <laughs> journaling. It's just going to add a little bit more character. So I didn't tear it off. So if I have to go back in with the art glitter glue or some wet glue, I can do that. But there we go. That works. I'll just be more delicate. OK. 
Come on, you can do it. There. I'll just leave that as is. Let that dry before I do anything else with it. All right, make sure this is down. All right, so I'll move this out of the way. And um, yes, I want to put this down. It's so pretty. I think it'll be a nice uh, uh, compliment to the journal. So I want to do some Terran so it has some nice raw edges. So first thing I'm going to do, I think, is see if I have a nice straight edge somewhere along here. Let's see if this will tear. Oh, good. It did. <clears throat> so there's that. And let's go ahead and clean up one of these edges. And we'll decide how wide we want it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And ooh, lots of strings. Let's see. I can even take a little off here. And just mark it. And then with these little strips, I can use those for tag toppers. So I don't throw nothing away. All right. So I am going to make this. I think I'm going to, um, I've seen a lot of the other ladies do the same. Is I'm going to add a little Fabri-Tac as well to this. Well, for one, I need it to be able to adhere to the outside edges. Um, oh, you know what? And I think I might actually wait to attach this because I'm still debating if I'm going to have the spine sh or the stitch work showing when I bind this journal or not. Hmm. You know what? I think I am going to have it showing. So with that said, we will go ahead and put this down. So I want this to go, yeah, in about there. So about an inch on either side of the spine. There we go. I like all the little frayed edges. And get rid of some of the excessive pieces. So a little too much string. Whoop. Come on, there you go. All right. So let's get you out of there. Somehow. There we go. So. All right, so I will use some Fabri-Tac. I'm not going to try to use too much because I don't want it to seep through the fabric. But this works great for fabric to fabric, uh, paper to fabric, and even paper to paper. This is some good stuff. Let's double check how wide. Okay. Like I said, I'm going to put a little extra in here. So I'm going to use um, this uh, silicone brush to just kind of smooth it out a little. Oop, it's already starting to dry. I'm going to have to move fast. I might even need to add a little more. It's okay. I just want it to have a good connection. So that it holds. Okay, let's do this. All right. And if I need to go a little wider in some spots, I will. If I need to do any little trimming, I will. Okay. I don't mind a little wrinkles in the fabric. I'm okay with that. There we go. Let's press 
pass this down. Let's not use that. And give that a second to dry. Oops, sorry about shaking things. Okay, so I'm also gonna add a little extra <clears throat> right here. Same thing on this side. Yeah. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Cool. So that, oops. Pretty good like that. Yeah. So, let's see, I got a few little kitty hairs floating. Let me get them out of there. They don't need to be there. There and there is good. Yeah. Okay, so now I can decide on how I want to do this side. I think I'm gonna do something similar. Although I could just use straight Fabri-Tac the whole way because I've already got it secured with that reinforced tape. So I think that's what I might do. So I'm pushing it in a little bit just to give it a little uh, bit of a hinge. Okay, so. And I'm leaving these edges, one edge is stitched. I think this was actually the bottom of the skirt. So there's the hem. And um, I like that little detail there. There used to be a little ruffle <clears throat> that surrounded it. But I'm gonna leave that raw and I'm gonna keep that on the outside, on the back cover. So that's that exactly what I'm gonna do. Yeah. So, and again, I have to decide, am I gonna show the stitching or not show the stitching? Because I still have that option because I could cover the stitching with this. You know, I think I'm gonna cover the stitching. So I think I'm gonna leave this for another time and um, I'm just gonna leave this as is for now. And yeah, I think we're, I think we're good with that. Okay. All right. Problem solved. So question is, what shall I do next? So that also means I'll have to wait to do the cover until the end, which is fine. Um, yeah, I'm not worried about that. And then let's see, let's get my, um, so I'll put the cover stuff aside. Mm -hmm. And I've got that. And I've got my signatures. So these signatures, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to trim them down just a little. And I've got a, a quite a variety of papers in here. Graph paper and old workshop notebook paper and some different things. So what I want to do actually before I do anything else is let's double check how this is fitting. So those are in. Yeah, the... Height is definitely fine. I'm concerned that they're a little too long because I don't want them to really stick out. So I think I'm gonna have to do a little trimming. Just a little trimming. Yeah, I'll be doing a little trimming. All right, so I'm gonna do that off. Oh, do I have to do it off camera? I guess I don't have to do it off camera. I'll show you how I do that because I don't want to trim them too much, just a little. So I'm gonna move this guy aside and we're gonna get out. Oh, let's see how we're gonna, let's do this this way. I'm gonna do them all at the same time. So I am going to use my big clip here. If it'll fit, will it fit? Barely, <laughs> almost, I folded that over, but that's all right. Let's do this. Try again. 
excellent. There's that. And make sure that those signatures are all in there nice and tight and pushed in all the way. And get another one in there. And there we go. Yeah. All right, so what I'm gonna do is get a handy dandy um, little knife there. And we're gonna get this guy again. And I'm gonna have to stand for this one. Mm. So I can get up above it. Yeah, you guys can see. So same idea as when I cut that piece of, um, ooh, that's a lot of paper to cut through. <laughs> we're gonna go for it though. I know it can be done. I just have to go slow and take my time and go straight down. That looks pretty even. And then I'll just remove the pieces as they come apart every few strokes here. Oh, there's one of my cuties. I don't know if you can hear. Come on, move out of the way. Let's keep going. Hmm, I think I'm going to be very careful and I'm going to <clears throat> remove one of these little blades so there we go there we go put that in the I'll put that in a special place the sharps sharps box there a sharper blade will probably be better oh yeah I can feel the difference already nice Okay. Oops. Okay, and we are cutting. Still cutting. This is pretty thick, so. Let's see how we're doing. I think I'm almost down at the edge. I'm gonna have to get a little longer blade. And just again, go nice and slow and keep it up against my ruler. What am I, oops, sorry, that was my head. <laughs> I feel like I'm, there we go, hitting something I shouldn't be hitting. Hmm. Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. See the progress. And maybe I will pull this back. Yeah. And we'll resume. I think the blade was getting too long. There we go. That's better. There. Almost there. It's worth taking your time on this part. I think I can feel it. It's almost through. There. There, I think so. Retract. Okay. Let's see. There. Oops. A little stray. Excellent. 
I don't mind it being a little on the raw side with the edge. I think it adds to the overall vintage look. Like it's been around for a while, right? Yeah. I'm good with that. Excellent. Hmm. Let's get these out of here. Okay, put these in the trash. All right, excellent. Let's figure out what's next. So, oh, here, let me grab a sip. I'm <laughs> trying to scooch my chair over. Let me grab a sip of coffee here before it gets cold. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so <clears throat> I've got my signatures. Um, I'm going to do some minimal decorating. Um, I did want to insert an envelope or two into this, and I'm going to have to shorten that envelope a little, or I can put it in this way. And wrap it around a signature. Hmm. Take this off. We don't need those. So I really haven't given this a ton of thought before bringing you guys along, so I hope you don't mind that. Um, I think I'm gonna keep it this way. I think I am going to, I think I'm gonna stitch it in. You know what, I might attach two envelopes together and have them wrap around. Hmm, I'll have to figure something out. I have, I Something's coming to mind. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> so most of the decorating is going to be the cover. It'll be the inside. So I'll do some pockets. And let's see. I would like to have a few places. Like I said, there's going to be a pocket here and there. And a few envelopes. So let's see, four signatures. So I'm wondering if... I think I might put the envelopes at the second and third signature, and I might, and it barely fits, hmm, I'm almost tempted to just make a little extra, hmm, maybe I could just Oh, I know what I'll do, <laughs> just thought of it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually open this envelope. And, and there's a lot of room right here, so I'll have some wiggle room. I won't have to trim the envelope so much. I just wanna make sure I get a good clean. There we go. One way or the other, come on. I'm not too worried about it because it can all get fixed. Excellent. So let's carefully. There we go. Oops. Okay, excellent. So what I'll do is um, this is actually gonna have to get folded very slightly because, or if it's actually wrapping around, I may not need to. Hmm. I'm gonna put it in the center signature. Yeah, so that'll get sewn in in the center of the signature. So I will need to give it a little bit of a fold to shorten it up a little. All right, so. Let's do that. I'm gonna do a little, little altering of this envelope. Let's say, what is that about? Uh, not quite half an inch, but close. I didn't really measure, I just folded it and I eyeballed it and that looked good. So that's what we're gonna do. Looks about right. 
And I will reinforce this as well. Let's see how that fits now. So if that gets stitched in at the same time, and then I can reseal that envelope, and then we'll have a pocket right in the middle of the envelope, or the, an envelope pocket right in the middle of the signature. Perfect. Oh, good. So, so one of them, two of them, we're gonna have envelopes. So I need to grab another envelope, and I will be right. Okay, so I got that second envelope, <clears throat> and I already opened it up. So I'm just gonna set that in there for now. Cool. Let's see, we've got a few more decisions. This is gonna be the inside ones, front and back. Um, so I do wanna put, again, a, a little sturdier cover on the front signature and the back signature because I am gonna create some pockets there. So, um, let's see what I have to do that with. Um, I don't have any more of these pretty papers, at least in that heavier card stock, but, oh, I do have, let's see, that's really thick paper there. <clears throat> um, you know what, I think I'm going to find, um, some brown paper bag to use. Okay, so brown paper bag. So we are going to take this apart. I like to save the handles. You never know when they'll come in handy for something. So I'll put those in my scrap pile for reuse. Should be plenty here. So when I take apart a paper bag, I usually like to just trim off the edge of each side of the bottom to start. Let's see, yeah, I am recording. Just making sure. After my false start this morning, <laughs> I started and uh, didn't actually hit the button very firm. I was talking to myself for the first 10 minutes. Uh, here we go. And then let me just cut out the side. Okay, put that in the reuse pile. Cool. And I got lots of paper here. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, it comes apart pretty easy, so I'm just going to separate that. Oops. That's good enough. Whew, that's a lot of paper. Um, I love working with paper bags. So I am going to take uh, one sheet over to my cutter, and I am going to cut, let's see, I'm going to need, I only really need two of them. All right, so I'm gonna take this over to the cutter and chop that down, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got that done. So except for, yeah, tearing down the center here. So let's just force that crease, and let's see, I tear it straight. There we go. So paper bag be the cover of my signature. Perfect. Yeah, and that's a little bit sturdier than the coffee dyed uh, copy paper. So. Hmm. Oops, one forward, one backwards. All right. Let's do this way. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Excellent. So now I have to decide. Hmm. 
because I do like doing some sewing on these. So I'll have to figure out what I want to do for pockets. And I did bring some um, extra papers over. So let's open up the center of this and keep these handy and take a peek at what I do have. So these are from Victoria Designs. It's one of the, the first places I went to to get digitals. And I love her work, or their work. Um, there's some nice pockets in there. I think they're wide enough. They might be too wide. Hmm. But if I'm stitching them in, it wouldn't be too bad and I can always make them a little narrower. That should not be a problem. So I like those cards. Hmm. So let's do that. Yeah, let's use these guys. So I'd like to have a pocket on the front. And then so one, I'm going to have the library card here. And that's only one, two, three, four, I'll need five. And do I have five? I actually have six, so I have plenty to choose from. Yeah. Okay, so let me get these cut out. Um, I'm wondering if I should double them up. They're a little pockets a little thin, but they won't be. I think that's gonna be okay. I've I've used just straight copy paper before without a problem. I'm gonna get these cut out. And then I'll decide after we get them cut out if we need to cut them down at all. Let's see if I can cut a straight line. about the thumb hole here in a second. There we go. Okay. There's three. I've got so many strips of paper. I was saving everything for a while. Let's see, I might cut those out too, but we'll get these pockets in first. I do like that. I have some doilies, but I might as well use what I have here, huh? Maybe I'll do a double pocket on the, uh, well, no, I don't want to cover that up. Maybe I'll do a double pocket on one of the uh, signatures. And this is supposed to be a corner pocket. Let's see how, let's see. see this is kind of, this in the uh, the previous little book, the orange one I did, um, I haven't used a lot of digitals. Um, I've been using, uh, oh, what is it? Craft papers, you know, the, the ones that are already printed and very pretty. Um, but I haven't, I have a lot of digitals that I paid for, but I haven't used a lot specifically here and there, a little randomly. I have yet to build an entire journal using one kit. And I do have a few kits that I've purchased that I want to do that with. So when the time comes, I will bring you all along. Let's see. There we go. I'm going to save that one little piece. Okay, so I've got the pockets. 
Let's see. Question is, which one do I want on the front? Actually, you know what? Let's do... That's awful pretty. Let's do that one on the front. And... Now these don't have a little thumb hole in them, which is fine. I can put one in. Let's see. Let's save this for, I think I'll put this on the back one. And maybe this will be the double that I do. I'll do it on the back side. And I'll put, let's see, one here. Oops. One on the back, so just leave them both in the front, and then this will go. I think this one will go. I'll put that one on the front, and I'll put these two on the back. Or I'll do the double here. I think I'll do the double here. I'll do the double here and put this one on the back. So there we go. Get it organized a little. Okay. So the question is, am I going to stitch I'm gonna stitch them in yep this one won't get stitched um, so this one will just get glued in so I'm gonna cut this out and let's decide if I need to um, it does fit on there <clears throat> it does fit Well, pretty. Okay, so I'm going to ink it up a little bit. Let's see how much time we got in this video. Ooh, that's an hour. Okay, I might make this a two-parter, guys. So um, I'm just going to ink around this edge here a little. So I'm going to pause it here, and then um, I'm going to say goodbye for today, or at least for this video, and I'll keep videotaping, but um, I will do a, a second part, okay? Because that way we combine these together and everything. All right, till next time. Bye.